Okay, guys, so it's being recorded from now on. So welcome everybody when we have another special event. This event has been organized by the weekly, weekly fasting group, which is a very big WhatsApp group of individuals who try to cultivate the habit of uh, abstinence from food for at least 24 hours every week. And um, during those 24 hours, we try to keep in touch and talk about different spiritual and health related matters, including those webinars. So some people do it for religious reasons, for like spiritual reasons, other people do it for health reasons, still other people can may do it for kind of disciplining themselves. It's a very, very open-minded group. We don't have any particular agenda. We only, we only have this uniting factor that we fast as a group for 24 hours every week. And then, um, yeah, and, and that's it. And we also bring lots of interesting speakers to share with us their wisdom about different aspects of life. So, uh, so if those ideas appeal to you and you're watching this video later on, you will find my phone number below this video. I'm the moderator of this group. My name is Arik. You're welcome to send me your name by WhatsApp and I will add you to this group. So, uh, yeah, and uh, today we have a very special guest. Her name is Marcia. And we also have Ellie, who is going to translate. We are going to talk about life, about vegetarianism, about pranic living, about detox, and many other things. Uh, but we will start with a short guided meditation, guys, by Marcia herself. And so uh, I am also muting myself now. So let's dive into the meditation. So Marcia, over to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ahora hacemos la meditación. Yo te traduzco, Marcia. Bien. Entonces, um, llevamos toda la atención a nuestro corazón. Uh, we lead our attention to our heart. Respirando desde ahí. Uh, breathing from our heart. Visualizando un puente de luz entre mi corazón y el corazón de la fuente. Visualizing a bridge of light between my heart or your heart and the fountain of light. Respiramos desde ahí, desde la fuente. We breathe from the fountain, from the origin. Nos nutrimos desde ahí. We nurture from there. Compartimos desde ahí. We share from there. Inhalamos. Inhale. Llevamos todo este amor a nuestro vehículo físico. We take all our love to our physical vehicle. Y al exhalar compartimos. And we, when exhale, we share. Intencionamos. Yo we, soy amor. We intend. I am love. Inhalamos. Nos nutrimos. We nurture ourselves. Y al exhalar compartimos. Yo amo. We, when exhale, we share. I love. Yo soy amor. Yo amo. I am love. I love. Y en esta frecuencia de amor, visualizamos, visualizamos tres veces en nuestra pantalla mental el número tres. And in this love frequency, we visualize in our mental screen the number three, three times. Tres veces el número dos. Three times the number two. Tres veces el número uno. 
three times the number one. Y observamos, relajados, en nuestro entorno, como un espectador distante. And we observe, relaxed, our surroundings, like a, 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 a distant viewer. Nos contemplamos desde arriba. We see ourselves from above. Viéndonos desde un plano superior. Looking at ourselves from a superior plane. Me concentro en mi respiración. We focus in our breathing. Frenando el aire al inhalar y al, exp el, al exhalar. Stopping the air when I inhale and then when I exhale. Al inhalar, siento como penetra en mis fosas nasales, acariciándome, I, acariciándome en su recorrido. When I inhale, I feel how the air gets into my, uh, my nose and, uh, uh, re and re uh, goes all over myself. Y al exhalar, freno su salida conscientemente. When I exhale, I uh, stop consciously when the air is going out. Y si acuden pensamientos, simplemente los dejo pasar sin realizar ningún juicio sobre ellos. And if I have any thoughts, I only see the, thought, the thoughts pass and I don't judge anything. Mi pantalla, mi pantalla mental es de un azul celeste. My mental screen is blue, very blue. Y los pensamientos que cruzan por ella los envuelvo en nubes que pasan dulcemente impulsándola por el viento. And the thoughts that go around my, my blue skin, my, my blue screen, my blue mental screen are like clouds. Me siento alegre y contento por poder tener aquí y ahora conciencia del significado espiritual de mi vida. I feel joy for being conscious of the spiritual meaning of my life. Me siento satisfecho porque tengo el privilegio de dedicarme un espacio de tiempo a mi yo superior y a mi conciencia divina. I feel satisfied because I have this moment to dedicate to my uh, superior, uh, my superior spiritual uh, nature and my divine consciousness. Olvida todo lo demás. Únicamente estás concentrándote en tu interior. Forget everything else and focus in your inner self. Para penetrar en tu yo superior. To see clearly your higher self. Donde tienes la semilla del amor divino. When the divine love seed. Obsérvala. Observe your divine, divine love seed. Disuélvete en ella. Mm. 
be one with your divine love seed. Para poder dar todo tu amor. Primero to be able to give, to be able to give all your love. Visualízate como un niño desamparado. See yourself as a little child. En un lugar oscuro con enemigos que te acechan. In a dark place with enemies looking at you. Estás completamente solo. You are completely alone. Nadie está contigo. No one is with you. No puede recurrir absolutamente a nadie. You can't get help from anyone. Siente tu propio llanto y pide ayuda. Feel your own cry and ask for help. Después de que has llegado al fondo de tus temores, ¿qué encuentras ahí? After you reach the bottom of your fears, what is it there? What do you find there? Solamente encontrarás a tu yo superior. You will, pues, only, you will only find your higher self. Todo está dentro de ti. Everything is inside you. Con amor, no tenés nada que temer. With love, you don't have anything to fear. Ahora, visualiza el pensamiento de amor más puro e incondicional que puedas. Now, visualize the love thought more pure and unconditional that you can see. Piensa en lo que más amor te produzca. Think about what, uh, what gives you more love. Es una idea abstracta o es una imagen? Is it an abstract idea or an image? Y si hay una imagen concreta, rodéala. If it is an image, surround it. Con un sentimiento de gratitud, de compasión y de amor. With a, with a grateful and compassive and loving feeling. Utiliza un tuo mantra para proteger esa imagen. Use a personal mantra to protect that image. Ahora relaciona tu amor con una persona muy querida. Now relate your love with a very loved person. Y proyectale todo el amor que puedas. And share with them all your love. Ahora hazlo con una persona conocida, pero que no quieres especialmente. Now do that with a, someone that you know, but you don't love, you don't especially share your love with them. Y ahora piensa en una persona con la que mantengas discrepancias. O que And tenga now, un... now think about someone that you don't see eye to eye and share your love with them. ¿Eres capaz de proyectar tu amor sobre ellos? Are you capable to share your love with them? Lanzasle chor chorros de amor. Project um, lots of love. To, to them. Rodeándolas them. con tus alas de luz. And surround them with your light wings. Y fúndete en un abrazo con todos ellos. And hug them with all of them. De esta forma comenzarás a caminar como un ser divino. This way you will start walking as a divine being. Anclando armonía con todo el universo. Anchoring your harmony with all the universe. 
la sintonia con el amor y su práctica te dicen que ya no eres solo. The synchronicity with love and your practice of love say that right now you are not alone. Te sacia. You are satisfied. Te colma. You are Tishina. Yes, you are full. Te alegra. You, you are joyful. Te nutre. It nurtures you. Te desapega de tu ego. Um, you are... Um, you are detached of your ego. Y de los deseos que te encadenan. And all of the desires that trap you. Te hace sentirte realizado. You, seem, you, you feel realized. Como una entidad que forma parte de la unidad cósmica. Like an entity that is part, that is part of the cosmic unity. Respira profundo. Breathe profoundly. Manteniendo esta frecuencia de amor. Keep this love frequency. Y reincorpórate en tu espacio, en tu cuerpo. And go back to your body and to your space. Gracias. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Marcia. It was really inspiring, really important to remind ourselves to love ourselves and others and to practice, to cultivate this love on a daily basis. You can tell her. Gracias, Marcia. Eh, Ari dice que es muy importante para nosotros, que es muy, fue muy inspiradora la meditación y que es muy importante mantener el amor este, en nuestra vida diaria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to ask before we actually delve into the main subject, and actually, Marcia, I, I have no idea what Marcia is going to talk about exactly, but specifically before, because she doesn't have lots of English materials online for people to get to know her, maybe she could tell us a little bit about herself, how she realized that there is some other kind of lifestyle beyond what most people live and um, how was her spiritual development on the one hand and on the other hand, this uh, vitarian or pranic development, whatever she feels right to say and to share. And then we can delve into our main subject. Okay. Um, dice Ari, Ari dice que antes de entrar en el tema mayor, en el tema principal de la charla, como no hay mucho material en inglés sobre vos eh, online, este, entonces a él le gustaría que vos nos cuentes un poquito sobre este, eh, cómo, cómo, cómo te diste cuenta de que se podía tener un estilo de vida diferente y este, que nos hables un poquito de cómo llegaste hasta donde estás ahora. Bien. Bien, eh, bueno, los agradezco todos a, a, por haberme así, a, invitados acá en, este, en esta charla. Eh, yo desde pequeña eh, tenía una dificultad con la comida, eh, comía poco y, 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 y comencé a los 12 años a experimentarme eh, en los ayunos. Uh, de, ahora no hablo, no hablo más de ayuno. El ayuno no existe. Existe. Yo... Ah. Dame un segundo. <laughs> okay, so uh, she, first of all, she's very grateful for uh, the invitation for this group uh, from this group uh, today. And uh, well, she started her, um, her her path at 12 because she had problems with food, uh, physical problems, eating food. So there she started. And there she uh, knew about fasting. But right now she doesn't, uh, 
she doesn't uh, what she does uh, she doesn't name it as fasting sí. bueno. no hablo más de ayuno hablo de cambio de frecuencia she talks she doesn't talk about fasting she talks about change of frequency no existe el ayuno siempre nos nutrimos so she says that uh, fasting doesn't exist really because we are nurturing ourselves uh, all the time. Bien. De pequeña comencé a dejar el conocido, la carne, los azúcares. She, when, when she was a child, uh, she left. Uh, she didn't eat uh, any meat or sugar. Uh, she abandoned that. Uh -huh. su utilizar la comida And, uh, utilizar claro Me... su utilizar como dejar el denso la, la comida ah ok ok so uh, she, she, she started uh, she started consuming less dense food then less dense foods more subtle foods y desde ahí más quitaba dejaba el conocido más se abrían portales and when she left all the things that she knew uh, she felt that uh, there were more portals more uh, open doors for her más dejaba una frecuencia densa de los sentidos externos más se abrían sentidos internos el via when viaje she internos. When she, when she left uh, the denser frequencies, she felt that um, subtle frequencies were open inside her. Y un día se, a, se apareció uh, en mi cocina una luz dorada. Mm. And when one day, when she was in her kitchen, um, there was a a golden light. Y de ahí comprendí que se podía vivir de luz. And there she, she understood that uh, she was uh, able to live from light. Pero aprendí que para llegar a eso hay que limpiar el canal, nuestro instrumento de conciencia, nuestro cuerpo físico, emocional y mental. And she learned that uh, to be able to reach this uh, living from light, you have to clean uh, your uh, physical body, spiritual body, and mental body. Hay que sanar las áreas desnutridas de amor dentro de nosotros. Uh, you have to heal all the uh, aspects that lack love inside you. Y por eso no, no, no pienso en no comer, pienso en nutrirme de amor. So she doesn't think about not eating, but she thinks about being nurtured by love. Y, y por eso en uh, estos tránsitos de mi vida uh, aprendí y lo que comparto con la gente es que nosotros somos un canal entre el cielo y la tierra. And where she, she learned uh, from that, that we are a channel between uh, heaven and earth. And that's, that's what she shares with people. Somos un canal entre el cielo y la tierra y, y desde ahí nos nutrimos. Pero somos un conjunto de programa y creencias en esto andar planetario. And we are a, we are a, a, a group of uh, programs and beliefs. Uh, when we when we when we walk uh, on Earth, uh, we get uh, programmed and we get a lot of beliefs. Programas desempoderantes limitantes. 
uh, um, programs that uh, take power from us and limit us. Somos un canal co-creadores con el universo, pero estamos programados para sintonizarnos en una frecuencia de escasez. We are uh, co-creators with the universe. Uh, we are a co-creator channel with the universe, but we are programmed in a, in a, um, in a, sh um, in a scarcity uh, frequency. Lo que propongo en mis retiros, que lo, lo que, lo, lo que transité yo, eh, agradezco Jasmushin porque con su retiro hace ya 15, 20 años, aprendí eh, a liberar el mio canal a través del agradecimiento, del perdón y de la reprogramación, eh, donde eh, hay que... Eh, liberar el canal de los mandados o de las fidelidades ancestrales. Ah, Juan, pues una preguntilla. ¿Vos hiciste un retiro con Chasmujín? No, eh, lo hice en Brasil, una, un retiro que de ella, pero que no, no, no guiaba a ella. Ok, so she, she, she uh, was present in a, in a process, uh, in the process like uh, the Chasmujín process. Uh, of life and um, not with Jasmuhin, but in Brazil with someone that uh, uh, guided that kind of process. And there she learned about gratitude and about. Um, ¿Qué otra cosa dijiste? Gratitud. Uh, el perdón. ¿Cómo? ¿Eh? El perdón. El agradecimiento. Grat el perdón. Gratitude el and uh, forgiveness. Eh, agradecimiento, perdón y reprogramación. And reprogram. Liberando los, los mandados y las fidelidades ancestrales. Liberating uh, the mandates of ancestral uh, fidelity. Uh -huh. Y eh, abordando el campo mental, liberando los archivos viejos los archivos uh, desactualizados para freeing introducir all, yeah freeing all uh, old uh, informations uh, in her mind introduciendo programas que nos ayudan a evolucionar y a crecer and learning new program programs that help us to evolve and to grow nosotros somos co-creadores siempre con el universo, pero tenemos que reprogramarnos en abundancia, prosperidad y salud. So we are co-creators with the universe, but we have to reprogram ourselves uh, in uh, prosperity, health, and uh, abundancia, prosperidad, uh, y salud. ¿Qué me, qué me faltó? Salud. Abundancia, prosperidad y salud. Yes. Prosperity, health, and uh, wellness. Um, nosotros nos alejamos de la fuente. Uh, we human beings uh, well, uh, get uh, uh, are apart from the fountain or we, we got apart from the fountain. Es un programa comer, es un programa dormir. We walked away from the fountain. For example, a uh, program is to eat. We are programmed to eat. We are co programmed to sleep. Es un programa sufrir. We are programmed to suffer. Hay que volver a realinearnos con la inteligencia superior, padre, madre superior, donde la vibración es el amor donde la vibración es crear eh, en armonía, paz, unidad. We have to realign ourselves with the uh, higher vibrations where everything is love and everything is uh, the creation of uh, peace. 
Entonces, eh, cree es formato de retiros donde la gente, a través de 7, 14 o 21 días, So she created uh, like this, um, uh, these processes that uh, during seven, 14 or 21 days. Donde reactivamos el canal entre el cielo y la tierra. Los... Where the, the channel between heaven and earth is reactivated. Lo liberamos de, las, de los mandados ancestrales, de la, lo liberamos de esto uh, mochila uh, ancestrales, este dolor que pasamos de linaje a linaje. Uh, we free ourselves from our uh, ancestral burden, uh, the burden that we uh, transmit uh, uh, lineage to lineage. Abordamos el, el, el cuerpo emocional, el, el subconsciente, donde eh, protege los programas de supervivencia. Uh, we also liberate our subconscious and the emotional programs that uh, uh, protect ourselves uh, from a survival point of view. Para para introducir programas alineados con la fuente. So to, to have new programs aligned with the, with the source. Y desde ahí en, abrimos la puerta eh, a través de la glándula pineal entrando en el mundo de la frecuencia, el mundo cuántico. And from there we open the door from the pineal gland um, Uh, to get into the quantum uh, field. Y ahí, con un canal consciente, limpio y con una frecuencia sintonizada al amor, volvemos a ser co-creadores con la fuente de un nuevo escenario aquí en la Tierra. And when we are aligned with our frequency, with love, we, um, we are again co-creators Uh, and uh, align with uh, here with the universe, align with the, with the source, with the origin of everything. Porque siempre somos co-creadores, pero tenemos que volver a reaprender a crear en sintonía con el amor, con la fuente, con la unidad, en paz, en hermandad. So we are always co-creators, but we have to learn, relearn learn again to create with love and with peace and with uh, uh, brotherhood uh, with all the humanity, brotherhood and sisterhood. In Spanish, you say hermandad and it is for men and women, so. Bien, porque cuando estamos lleno, estamos cumpliendo nuestra misión, nos olvidamos comer. Yeah, we, because we, when we are full, Uh, and we are uh, fulfilling our mission, uh, we forget about eating. La comida es un parche. Um, food is like a, like a patch. En la comida eh, creamos una hormona, o sea, en la digestión de la comida creamos una hormona que se llama oxitoxina. When we are digesting our food, uh, we create an, a hormone called oxytocin. Oxytocina is the hormone of love that nos da esta sensation of bienestar. Oxytocin is the hormone of love, which gives uh, give us uh, that uh, good sensation. Pero después de la digestión, necesitamos volver a comer para recrear otra vez la, la oxitoxina. Entonces necesitamos comer, 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 comer. So when, when we digest all the food and oxytocin uh, is not there, uh, we need to eat more to renew that good sensation that we felt when we, when we got the food before. 
La oxitocina se produce también con los abrazos, con los oxitocina. masajes. Sí, yeah, oxitocina también uh, es produced uh, with uh, hugs with other people or also with a uh, massage. Pero siempre necesitamos ser dependiente de la otra persona. But we always depend from others. El punto es volver a ser libre, reconquistar nuestra libertad, nuestro poder divino y trabajando con la glándula pineal y conectándonos directamente a la fuente, podemos ser generadores de amor. Ok, so the point is uh, to free ourselves, to be free, and uh, from the pineal gland, connect with the source of love and uh, be love generators. Lo que queremos es ser borrachos de amor. What we want to be is uh, Drunk, love, drunk. Entre una comida y el amor, siempre vamos a elegir el amor. So between food and love, we will always choose love. Entonces cuando vamos comenzando a sanar nuestro cuerpo emocional y nuestro programa limitantes, ya la comida se disuelve, pasa en último lugar. Nos olvidamos. When we heal our uh, limiting beliefs and our uh, our life energy, food uh, is like uh, the last thing we think about. Por eso creé un, un proceso de siete días para que la gente pudiera aprender a a, a activar su canal y comenzar a vivenciar esta frecuencia olvidada. La gente en el mio proceso de siete días ya sale cambiada. So she created her seven day process uh, to change uh, people's frequencies, to, to people to, to learn how to change their frequency. So after seven days, they already are experiencing the change of frequency. Mm -hmm. Ellie, so um, maybe we could uh, get some questions at this point, because from my experience, the most successful framework is that the speaker speaks something like 15, 20 minutes, and then there, there, there are some questions, and then we proceed with the Perfect. speaker. So if she's yep. okay with that. Uh, Marcia, vos, ¿te parece que, que hagan algunas preguntas? Que te pregunten algunas cosas y después vos, uh, bueno, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions, in relation to what she said or whatever, you are welcome to unmute yourself and ask your questions. Hey, Ravi. <laughs> namaste. <laughs> namaste. Namaste. Namaste, Marcia. Namaste, Yule, for translating. Thank you so much for everybody. I only have one quick question. You know, whatever uh, Ms. Mauricio says makes a lot of sense. You know, you already, everything you have, everything you are doing, and uh, you are you are a co-creator of universe, all that thing. Um, yeah, um, I, I have been uh, hearing this for the last few years. The key challenges when there is a there when there is a difficult time in life, that is where you know we forget that we are part of the universe. We are the creators of universe. Let's say, for example, we will pass in a fiction for passing for a longer time. When you know, when you when your stomach really pinches and you feel hungry. So at that point, you know, we forget that um, we, are, we are being fed by the universe. We are being fed by the divine, right? So how do we constantly reinforce ourselves that we are being fed, we are not fasting anymore? Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ravi. Thank bueno, eh, Ravi, lo que pregunta es eh, el tema de que cuando nosotros, eh, por ejemplo, hacemos ayuno, entonces como que nos realineamos de nuevo y entonces después empieza a pasar un poco de tiempo, tenemos hambre y nos olvidamos de esto de que vos decís de que somos co-creadores y además de que lo que nos nutre es la energía del amor, la energía del universo. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos para eh, recordar de nuevo eso? ¿O cómo hacemos para... 
reforzar eso. Bien, justamente lo trabajo en, en mis retiros. Eh, le doy las herramientas eh, para poder sostener el proceso. Nos, bueno, dile a eso y después te continúo. Uh, in, her, in her retreats, uh, she gives uh, uh, people uh, the tools to, uh, to, to keep that process. Right to keep uh, the feeling of being nurtured by love and the universe. Nosotros somos responsables de nuestro escenario. We are uh, we are responsible of our 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 life uh, situation. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos olvidarnos de ser feliz? So how can we Forget about being happy. Cuando en el proceso experimentamos el amor, o volvemos a recordar que es el amor. So when in the process we experience love or, eh, or remember what is love. Eh, es muy eh, difícil volver atrás. It's very difficult to go back. Eh, yo les, le digo a la gente, trabajamos con la gente donde se rompe un escenario viejo y se crea uno nuevo. Y en esto, so when, she, uh -huh. when uh -huh. she works uh, with people, uh, what she does is to uh, destroy the, the old uh, scenario or the old uh, way things were and create a new one. Y en este proceso entre el viejo y el nuevo, and in this process between the old scenario and the new scenario, es un proceso de fe y de comenzar a nutrir el nuevo escenario. So it is a process from a uh, faith and to start nurturing the new scenario, the new reality. Por cuanto no esté asentado en, en el campo físico. ¿Cómo? Hay que nutrir el nuevo escenario por cuanto este escenario todavía está en la nube, no está asentado ah, okay. en el campo físico. Ok. So, because the new scenario isn't still uh, in the physical uh, realm, it is, it's, it's not uh, there completely. Entonces hay un, hay un momento de apnea, ¿no? de, de cambio, donde la nuestra voluntad y la nuestra constancia es hacia el nuevo. Sí, percibimos el viejo, pero nutrimos el nuevo. So, um, there is a, a moment uh, when our, our will and our, um, our our steadiness uh, with the new scenario maintains that one and we still perceive the old scenario. Con, con el tránsito del proceso es mucho más fácil sostener la frecuencia porque ya hay, hay muchas cosas viejas que ya se, de, se disuelven. Okay, so uh, with this process uh, we, uh, we find easier to sustain and maintain that frequency, the new frequency, and to let go of the old frequencies. Hoste, thank you so much for the lovely answer. Gracias, Marcia. Thank you, Ravi. Yeah, uh, I also wanted to ask Marcia, uh, regardless whether a person participates in her retreats or not, uh, like, could you give you tips uh, just for an average person, how to maintain higher frequencies in their daily life? Eh, bueno, Arik, lo que te pregunta es eh, si vos puedes dar algún par de tips para las personas comunes y silvestres este, sobre cómo mantener una frecuencia más alta en la vida diaria. Sí. Um, antes de ir a dormir van a ser 15 minutos de agradecimiento eh, hacia, hacia, hacia sí mismo 
por lo que son, por lo, lo que lograron, por sus fracasos, para todos. Agradecen. Ok, 15, 15 minutos before going to sleep at night. Uh, this is the first advice. Um, you can, uh, you can uh, perform 15 minutos of uh, being grateful for uh, your achievements of the day, for your, uh, for your shortcomings, for, for everything, good and bad, uh, and for yourself. Agradecen nosotros, el vehículo físico, la be familia. Grateful, be, be grateful for yourself and for your, for your body. La familia biológica, la familia elegida, for your biological family and for your chosen family also. El trabajo, la casa. Your work, your home. El, país, el pueblo, la ciudad donde viven, el país. The country and the city or uh, wherever you live. La Be Pachamama, grateful. el planeta Tierra que nos hospeda. The Pachamama. Pachamama, which is uh, the name that the South American uh, original people called uh, the Earth, the planet. El cosmo, que somos almas viajeras y, y agradecemos a papá y mamá, inteligencia superior. The universe and uh, the, the superior intelligence that is our father and our mother. Uh, y desde ahí, Llevamos la atención a nuestro nuevo escenario donde queremos estar. And then we pay attention from that a grateful uh, state of mind and state of spirit to uh, our new scenario, what we want to uh, be. Nos visualizamos en nuestra mejor versión donde estamos sintonizados en una nutrición, la alimentación que queremos sostener, lo que queremos hacer, el lugar donde queremos vivir. And we visual, visualize our best version, what we want to do, what we want to, uh, what, where we want to live, uh, everything we want, the good things we want for us. Bien, y esto lo repetimos a la mañana, cuando nos despertamos, 15 minutos de agradecimiento y llevamos la atención a nuestro nuevo escenario. Ok. So, uh, in the morning, also, when we wake up, uh, we repeat what we did at night, uh, with being grateful uh, for everything and for our, ourselves, and visualize our better version and with what, uh, everything good we want. Y durante el día elegimos la colonna sonora de nuestro nuevo escenario para poderla tararear. Ok, so during the day we choose uh, the, the sonic symphony of our new scenario so we can, uh, we can sing that kind of song. Uh, ¿Qué sería eso? Lo de, la, la, de lo la, de la, la frecuencia sonora, la, esto de poder tararear, ¿qué tararearíamos? Tararearíamos la colonna sonora de nuestro nuevo escenario, así la tenemos siempre presente la frecuencia. Ok, so we, we would sing uh, the sound of our new scenario, so we, we, we have that always present with us during the day. ¿Por qué agradecemos? And why uh, are we, why uh, be, being grateful? Porque el estado por excelencia de, que él, de lo que recibe, de una persona que recibe. Because it's a, that is the, the state of someone that is receiving. Tenemos que volver a reconectarnos con la fuente que es nuestro dador, el nuestro dador de, de herramientas y, y de equipo y de todo lo que necesitamos. So we have to reconnect with the, with the source of everything that we need. Entonces agradeciendo le pedimos ayuda 
para sostener y crear este nuevo escenario con esta frecuencia. So being in a grateful state of mind and spirit, we ask for help uh, from the source to maintain and to be in this, uh, in this new state. Y volver a colaborar con ellos, con la fuente, para la evolución planetaria es universal. And uh, start collaborating, start working with the source for the uh, evolution of the planet and the universe. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> That's definitely inspiring. So guys, do you have any more questions? Or they, if not, then we will proceed with the lecture. Mm, actually, we have a question for, from Ravi about this seven day process, but maybe we can talk about all those programs towards the end. And then, uh, so guys, do you have any more questions? You can just unmute yourself and ask. No. Okay, good. Good. So then we can just we'll, we can just proceed from the point where she stopped before the questions. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's just proceed. Bueno. Okay. Entonces me dice Arik que bueno que ahora si querés podés continuar desde donde dejaste. Este hay una pregunta más de Ravi que es específicamente eh, que, que hables más acerca del, del programa eh, tuyo de una semana. Eh, sí, yo te haría la pregunta de una semana, 14 días, 21 días, la diferencia. Pero eh, no sé qué tenías vos bueno, pensado de lo... seguir hablando. Uh -huh. Habíamos estos siete días eh, donde lo hago presenciales y online. Yeah, yeah, the seven days are uh, in person. They are in, in Córdoba, in Villa de las Rosas, which is a little town near the city of Córdoba in the center of Argentina. And also online. In Spanish and Italian, for now. Tengo también un traductor también que me suena. She has a translator, an English translator. So all English speaker people can do the online process as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Y transitamos um, presenciales, do, uh, igual, y también online, dos días uh, en seco. Two days, días... of... okay, two days of dry fast for the seven days. It is uh, for the online or, or in person, it's two days dry fast. Dos días de agua eh, y eh, agua común y agua de mar. Two days of um, water and uh, eh, ocean water. Y después cerramos en jugos. And then they finish with a uh, juice. Y desde ahí, como dije, reactivamos el canal entre el cielo y la tierra. So Liberamos. There, there they react, uh, reactivate the channel between heaven and earth. Liberamos el canal um, de lo, de los mandatos ancestrales. Hacemos todo un trabajo de, de reconectar las raíces, sanar las raíces. So they, they make, uh, they, they work in healing uh, the roots and in healing all the, all the roots, spiritual, mental. Y, y, y desde ahí, eh, trabajamos el subconsciente, lo liberamos de los, de los hábitos desempoderantes, introduciendo, le enseño cómo desprogramar y programar el subconsciente. And then they work with the subconscious and they start a... Uh, learning how to deprogram and reprogram the subconscious. Y desde ahí um, entramos en la, activamos la glándula pineal, nos conectamos la glándula pineal, entramos en el campo de la frecuencia y, y volvemos a reempoderarnos de nuestro libero albedrío, de nuestro poder de co-creación con la fuente desde la abundancia. 
and then they liberate uh, the pineal gl gland and uh, then uh, relearn uh, the free will uh, to be co-creators uh, from the from the source from the source vibration. Y aprender a sostener nuestra autoridad energética. And to learn uh, to uh, keep our energetic authority. Es el 7. Después de los 14 días abordamos todo el campo lumínico y los varios chakras para profundizar el trabajo de desprogramación y programación de cada chakra y la autoridad energética del campo lumínico. So in the 14 day process, uh, they work with uh, chakras and the frequency and energy of each chakra to learn how to uh, reprogram each chakra and to, uh, to, uh, uh, to keep the, the energetic authority of it, each chakra. In the 21 days, the structure of the Jasmogin, where there are seven days in secco, seven days of water, I introduced water of the mar, and seven days of jugos, we profundly and canalize everything that comes So in the 21 days, they are uh, alike of the Jasmuhin, 20, 21 days. So uh, we have uh, seven uh, dry days, seven days with water and sea water, and um, seven days with juice. And then, en los últimos siete días son de jugo, ¿verdad? Sí. O no? Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah. Seven days with juice and uh, what, uh, what uh, they do in the 21 day process is to reprogram and relearn everything to be uh, completely uh, unified with the source and uh, to uh, go back to the original vibration of the, of the source. Mm. Now, when she says seawater, what does it mean? Does it mean like a salty ocean water or what kind of water is that? Um, Alex pregunta sobre cómo, qué te, a qué te referís con respecto a agua de mar. Eso. <risa> no. Bueno, pero, pero contá un poco más cómo se consigue. Sí, sí, la, el agua de mar, nosotros estamos hechos de agua de mar. Yeah, mm. we are, we are, uh, she says that uh, we are um, made of uh, seawater, the water that is in the sea, right? Y, y con el agua de mar, Vimos todos los electrolíticos que necesitamos para anclarnos en esta tierra. So with the salt water, with the sea, which is our, the sea water, we receive all the electrolytes uh, to, um, to anchor ourselves in this earth. Eh, pero deberías eh, hablar de la diferencia que hay entre agua sala común y común y el agua de mar, la procedencia, ¿no? Porque por ahí a lo mejor yo al por principio cuando el agua de mar de... tiene todos una serie de minerales que nos anclan al yeah. campo lumínico, eh, a este campo lumínico que nos ayuda a transmitir y a recibir, como el canal telepático donde nos ayuda a dar activar la telepatía eh, mental y eh, emocionales Física. Yeah, it's not simply salt water, but it's actually water from the sea. So uh, they get the water from the sea. Here in Argentina, we have a sea. In Argentina, la, al agua de mar la conseguimos del mar que está al costado de Argentina, ¿no es cierto? Del océano Atlántico. We get the, the, the sea water from the Atlantic Ocean here in Argentina, but everywhere is uh, like that because it is not only salty water, but it is uh, actual sea water because it has uh, many minerals and many um, electrolytes that uh, contribute to our, uh, to our uh, being, uh, our anchoring here in Earth. Mm. So if a person is doing that uh, and they don't live near the sea, like uh, should they just use salt water, salty water, or uh, what, what is the solution for them, for those who are doing it online, for example? Okay. Eh, bueno, entonces lo que él pregunta es que 
este, si vos, por ejemplo, no estás cerca del mar, entonces, ¿cómo haces para conseguir el agua del mar? Por ejemplo, para los que hacen el proceso online. Siempre eh, a través de Amazon, cada, cada país tiene sus proveedores que, claro. lo envían, que envían los bidones en, en su casa. No te, nunca tuvo problema en Europa, en Norteamérica, en América. Cada uno aborda a través de empresas que lo envían. Que la, 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 la... Ok. So, all over the world. I didn't know that, Arik, by the way. Ok, so, ok. Uh, it, was, it was something that I learned. <laughs> uh, all over the world. Uh, you have, for example, you can get from Amazon seawater. You can get from uh, in Europe. She 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 says that everywhere you can get uh, salt water. Here in Argentina, we have something called Mercado Libre, which is like Amazon but for Argentina, yeah. and you can get salt water uh, seawater there. So mm. you you look for it online and you okay. get. Uh, the salt water uh, to complete the, the online process, the oh, process very, in, your, in your home. Very interesting. I didn't know that. And I also wanted to ask her, how does her food, water and sleep intake look like right now, like in her daily life? Would you ask that? Yes. Uh, bueno, Ari, ¿quieres saber cómo es eh, tu... ¿Cómo es tu rutina diaria de comida, eh, el sueño? O sea, vos ahora, como Briatharia en Level 3, este, ¿cómo es tu, tu rutina diaria de comer, dormir y esas cosas? Eso. Ahora, menos digerimos, más energía tenemos, menos sueños. Pero no, pero te está preguntando a vos personalmente. Por eso, o sea, por eso, por eso digo. Menos comemos, menos comemos, menos digerimos y más. Y más. Entonces la mia rutina que ha, ha, per transitando después de raw food, ahora estoy en líquido, um, e hasta agüita, um, tengo mucha energía, poco sueño, poca hora de sueño. Porque la ¿Cuántas puedo... horas dormís? Tres, cuatro, tres. Está bien. <risa> ¿Y cuánta, cuánto líquido tomas? ¿Cuánta cantidad? Eh, cuando me cruzo con gente, para ahora necesito todavía más líquido, porque todavía hay como un osmosis eh, de intercambio. Estoy intentando aprender a, a, a sellar, ¿no? a cerrar bien el campo áurico para, para, no poder, para evitar esto, eh, esto tránsito energético. Ok. Todavía no, ahora está diciendo que es el, como un elástico. ¿viste? Ok. So she says that uh, she sleeps three or four hours, because when, when you don't digest food, you have more energy. And also, uh, regarding the quantity of liquids that she gets every day, uh, she says that uh, when she interacts with people, she needs uh, more liquid. She needs to intake to, to, to get more liquid uh, because she's working in her uh, auric uh, uh, field uh, to, to be best sealed, you know? not to need to get more liquids when she interacts with people. Okay, and but, so uh, when she talks about liquids, uh, are they, is, it, is it just water or juices or what kind of liquids? And also, does she take any solid food uh, at all? Okay, so uh, lo que pregunta Arik es, primero, si tomas agua sola o si tomas agua, jugo, ¿qué líquidos tomas? lo primero que te pregunta, y si eh, comes comida sólida habitualmente, o en algún momento. Eh, utilizo la isotónica, que es un tercio de agua de mar, dos tercios de agua común, y exprimo limón. Ah, ok. Y... So she, she drinks uh, sea water with, uh, with, uh, with plain water and lemon. Mm -hmm. first. Yes. Y, um, utilizo agua, eh, a, a veces un poquito calentita, pero no mucho, Ajá. como no tiene que ser vida, como en, muy así, para yeah. hacerme um, como una, uh, un tecito, um, pero no de estimulante, como de, de coco, de lechita de coco, para a veces tomarlo. Ok. 
So she also uh, drinks uh, tepid water with uh, coconut uh, mm -hmm. sometimes because she sometimes needs something warmer. Like co like coconut water or what kind of water? No, like uh, like if you if you if you made uh, like a tea with uh, -huh. uh a, 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 with a, a coconut a dry coconut ah, and okay. tepid water or dry coconut and warm water. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. Because she doesn't drink uh, tea or coffee. Vos no tomas café, esas cosas, café, té, mate, no. eso no. No, ya son como muy fuerte, ¿viste? Yeah. She considers very uh, strong coffee or tea or uh, here in Argentina we, we drink something called mate. And uh, like it is like tea. It's, it's stronger than coffee. And she doesn't uh, drink that. So that's when she wants something uh, like tea, mm -hmm. uh, similar to tea, she, yes. she does this uh, coconut and tepid water or warm water. Mm, interesting. And what about solid food? Does she take any solid food? Ah, y lo de la comida sólida, no, she doesn't. Mm. No, ya, ya se va a masticar, dile. <laughs> uh, she, she, um, she is. Uh, she doesn't want to chew. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. And when was it the last time that she did take any solid food? And when? Eh, ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tomaste comida sólida? Uh, hace un montón. No sé, será un año, dos años. La verdad que ya desde la pandemia ya ahí como cortamos porque. Dile que antes estábamos, estaba con la raw food, que nosotros hacíamos acá los, los talleres y todo eso, yo lo hacía, entonces se picoteaba. Pero ya cuando me, me alejé de la comida, ya está. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, more than one year, because before the pandemic, uh, she was raw, raw vegan. And uh, after, when, when the, when the pandem pandemic started, uh, she, uh, she had less and less food. Um, Right now, she does. Okay, very interesting. Okay, guys, so please unmute yourself if you have any questions. <laughs> okay, apparently everything is clear. Okay, very good. Yeah, so maybe we could, we could um, elaborate. As I have a question, actually. Uh, so, so does she think that, uh, does she... Uh, uh, in her daily life, does she perform any particular exercise to uptake her prana, to increase her prana intake, or is it enough just to um, uh, to adjust ourselves to those higher frequencies and then automatically we'll get more prana? Does she do any okay. breathing exercises, any visualization exercises just to, to, to increase her pranic nourishment? Okay, so lo que pregunta Arik es si vos haces en tu vida diaria, más allá de estos ejercicios de alineación con, con la frecuencia de estos que explicaste de, de la gratitud, si vos haces algún otro ejercicio para eh, algún ejercicio de respiración o alguna cosa de esas para, para obtener más prana, para tener más energía. Hago ejercicio de respiraciones eh, de, por, por comenzar a, como a, a crear estos vacíos internos para poder uh, absorber mejor. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. So she performs a breathing exercises to create, a, to create vacuum inside her to be able to receive more uh, pranic energy. Uh -huh. Realmente vivo en el oxígeno, en la naturaleza. Tiene que ser lives, natural. Lo, lo que apunto que sea natural. Okay. She lives in a very, very beautiful place, very pure place uh, uh, in nature. Uh, so uh, what she says is that uh, it is a very important to be in contact with nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. Guys, do you have any more questions? Hmm. Okay, and um, so uh, uh, so um, I have a question. So would you recommend uh, 
everyone to go and to do, for example, a seven day process or a person needs to perform some kind of preparation for that, some kind of cleansing or fasting experience or whatever, or any person can do that. Bueno, lo que pregunta Arik es, eh, es si cualquier persona puede hacer el proceso de siete días o si hace falta algún tipo de preparación especial, ayuno, cambiar de forma de alimentación, alguna cosa para empezar con el primer proceso de siete días. Um, yo lo preparo para acceder a los siete días. Antes, cuando, cuando me llaman, le pregunto qué tipo de alimentación están sosteniendo para, para saber qué crisis depurativa va a abordar en el, en el, en el retiro. Y lo so preparo she... para sintonizarse a retiro, para no tener crisis depurativa. Mm. Yeah. Bueno, so uh, she says that uh, when someone contacts her about the seven day process, she asks about uh, the way they are, uh, they are eating, what they eat and or what they, uh, they are used to or not. And she prepares personally uh, for each person the process before the seven day uh, in order to, for them to not to have, uh, to suffer or not to have a very strong uh, uh, detox crisis. Uh -huh. Y obviamente entran sin medicamento. And uh, there is, this is uh, the one aspect that it is uh, during the seven days, uh, you can't take any medications, uh -huh. right? So that's something that she discussed before. Okay. Okay, and uh, um, is, for example, is going for her longer processes. Um, is it required for the person first to do the seven day course, a seven day retreat uh, in order to go for the 14 days or 21 days or they can start right from there? Ok, so, entonces ahora lo que pregunta es, si para hacer el de 14, el proceso de 14 días y el proceso de 21 días hace falta hacer primero el de 7 días o si de entrada no más puede hacer el de 21 días. Depende de la persona, depende de cuánto está entrenado en ayuno, el, el, su impulso, depende de muchas cosas. Hay muchos que van directamente al 21. Ok, okay so uh, she says that it depends on the, on the person. Uh, if the person has, for example, a fasting training or, fast, uh, or has, has had a, a way of life uh, that um, is... Uh, has been prepare, preparing themselves, right? They can go directly to the 21 days, but uh, she decides after, uh, it depends on the person. Mm, okay, interesting, interesting. And tell me, so, and um, has, she, has she experienced different, different kinds of cleanses throughout her journey? Did she do and any kind of cleanses? And uh, does she also recommend doing any particular kind of cleanses uh, for, for, for people. Ok. Bueno, lo que pregunta es si vos has hecho este, eh, limpiezas o eh, detoxifications vos personalmente, por un lado, y por el otro lado, ¿qué tipo de limpieza recomendas vos este, a las personas? ¿Limpieza de qué cosa? ¿De, ¿Como de ayuno? Sí, no. No, es tipo detox, por ejemplo, ponele en el, los cuatro días que hicimos, eh, empezamos con una limpieza colónica. Sí, sí. Eh, aconsejo a todos uh, un, un detox, una, una, una hepática profunda, donde se limpia el intestino, los riñones, el hígado, lo fluido. Eh, sostener una alimentación fisiológica viva para sintonizarse uh -huh. la vida. So she, she, um, she advises uh, a, a detox, a cleaning, um, a colonic cleaning, and also a detox from the, for the liver and the, and the intestines and the... And the um, Yoni, hígado. Yeah, let me... A ver. 
kidneys. The kidneys. kidneys. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, the kidneys. So liver, kidneys, and intestines. Uh, that would be the, the cleanse that she recommends. And okay. also uh, the colonic cleanse. So that, that is what she recommends. Ay, me falta la parte de, ¿vos hiciste esas limpiezas en algún momento de tu vida? Sí, sí. Sí, lo hice, yeah. para probar, lo hice. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. She did es all como, the all cleanses. All those cleanses. Es como un tránsito para resetear el cuerpo. It is a way to reset the body. So you do all those cleanses and the body is pure uh, to receive the new information. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And if anyone needs a protocol for doing that, can they obtain it by contacting her? Like for people who don't know how to do that or, or they just have to find information from my different other places and she, doesn't, she does not guide people into those specific procedures. Eh, bueno, eh, me pregunta si el protocolo para, esta, para hacer esas limpiezas este, lo das vos o si cómo hacen para conseguirlo. Y, este, pueden, pueden uh, dile que pueden mirar la web Espacio Depurativo. Claro. Uh, there is one... Uh, her, her space, her web uh, is, um, uh, I, I, I share it with you, uh, Arik. Um, and also there is another web that I am going to share with you also, that is uh, the name in the, of the web is Espacio Depurativo, which is a detox space. And they perform cleanse, uh, liver cleanse and uh, colonic cleanse, and they have all the instructions you can have all the instructions online as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's probably in Spanish, but people now can translate it into English with Google Translate, I guess, right? Like, it's probably, it sounds mm. like Spanish, Spanish sites, like Spanish speaking sites, no? Bueno, ¿El, el sitio de Espacio de Pirativo está, está en español solo? Sí, o todo, todo está bien en español, sí. Lo, lo, ahora será el momento de, de ponerle dos páginas, ahora lo vamos a hacer. Sí, now they are going to translate to English. Right now it's only in Spanish. I see. Okay, we'll put them below this video anyway. Now okay. Aranka from Canada has a question. She has raised her hand. Hello, hello. Hey, Aranka. Nice to meet you all. Hi. Just a <laughs> question to, to Marita. Um, it's an interesting story but it's very similar to all the other teachers online that offer their beautiful services and we need them more more and more services can you hear me yeah yeah yes. we can hear you very well Perfect. <clears throat> i'm sorry yes um i was just wondering if what what is her success rate um does she have um stories to tell us about um people who came to see her and changed and now they don't have to eat Ok, so, bueno, lo que te pregunta este, eh, Ari de Canadá es que es si vos tenés eh, historias de éxito entre las personas que te han visitado, yo le agregaría cuánta gente has visto hasta ahora con este proceso, con el proceso. ¿Tenés idea de cuánta gente ha hecho el proceso de, de 7, 14 y 21 y cuánta gente... Este, ha tenido éxito con esto. Éxito siempre, con los míos todo tiene éxito. <risa> sí, éxito, o sea, el hecho es, eh, la mi misión es que los otros cumplan sus sueños. Ok, her, her, her mission is uh, that everyone, uh, everyone fulfills their dreams. And she says that uh, many people has, uh, has, uh, uh, gone through uh, the process, the seven, 14, and 21 days, and they, they were always successful. Y mm, l'ayuno es una justificación para volver a cumplir nuestra misión. And fasting is a justification to, uh, to go back to our, uh, fulfilling our mission. Y cuando cumplimos la nuestra misión, ya la, la comida le, se eleva de frecuencia 
Y la base es raw food. Ok, so when we fulfill our mission, uh, food uh, is higher in frequency and the base of that is raw food. O sea, pueden comer carne, de la carne pasan a raw food. No, 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 no carne, no, no carne. No carne, no carne. No, no, she no, says that digo, if, no, you, no. if you wear, if you wear it in uh, meat, after that, you, you end eating raw food. That's what she's saying. Y lo que comen uh, comidas raw food, ya pasan a tomar líquidos y más. Es como, yeah. es, es todo un salto. Yes, so this it's it's it's, 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 it's like a jump, you know. So you if you were eating uh, meat, you end eating raw food, and if you were eating raw food, you end a uh, liquid diet. But uh, may I ask Maritza um, that um, liquidarians actually consume more food just in liquid state because to make a liter of grape juice, even if you dilute it. You have to take five pounds or more of grapes into the juicer. So I find that all these liquidarians eat actually more raw foods than the regular raw foodies who just eat the food. Um, what does she think of that uh, since she is a liquidarian? But she only drinks water. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that one. But she doesn't drink <laughs> juices? No, no who no. goes? No, 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 no. There's only water and, and sea water. And, and lemon. She also puts lemon in the water. With lemon, yeah. I am sorry. I missed that one. Yeah, I don't want to be a liquidarian because that's just uh -huh. more work for the body, more work for everyone, um, okay. and more resources being used uh, that we don't need. Um, and Eric has an experience of whole year, right, Eric? More than a year, yeah. More, more than a year. Yeah. yeah, more than a year. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it does. It doesn't lead to happiness, in my opinion. I try with nut milks, for example. It okay. doesn't work. So, so. Lo que thank, you. Marcia, thank you. 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 Yes, Ravi. Yeah, please, please go on. Yes, yeah, so really, you know, I want to know Marcia's opinion about the eating fruits instead of juices. How about eating fruits? You know, five servings, six servings of fruits like you know watermelon, cantaloupes, uh, peaches, grapes, bananas. You know, name it. You know, five, six servings of fruits a day, and just and, and then with water, with water. How does that sound? Lo que está preguntando Ravi, Marcia, es con respecto a eh, comer frutas y comer frutas y agua. Me It is eating fruits and eating fruits and water. That would be what your question, Ravi? Uh, correct, yes. What is her opinion on this? Yes. yes. Ok. So, bueno, ¿Cuál es tu opinión sobre las personas que comen solo frutas y agua? Es una frecuencia. Está bueno, es una frecuencia. Recordemos que es una, todo es una frecuencia. Y más, más menos uh, va, uh, in, in, hacemos que de afuera vaya adentro y, y, y más sustentables somos, más nosotros generamos, somos dadores, más poderosos somos. Ok. So she says that um, it is. Uh, all food is a uh, frequency, right? And it has to be with our, our personal frequency. But uh, what she says is that uh, when we uh, less food, uh, we, when we have a, an intake, a less food intake, we are more powerful and we elevate our frequency, but everything is frequency, right? So that would be, we are aligning ourselves with, uh, with the frequencies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Gracias. Yeah. Okay, guys. So do you have any more questions? Otherwise, we'll maybe we'll talk a little bit more about the processes and we will wrap it up for today. Okay. If you have any questions in relation to pranic lifestyle, to food intake and stuff like that, 
go on and ask your question. Okay, so um, so I wanted to ask, so if a person is thinking about joining your like Marzia's courses, what should we do? What should they do on the practical level if they don't live in Argentina? Okay. Entonces, para las personas que no viven en Argentina y que no pueden ir a Villa de las Rosas a hacer el, el curso este, presencialmente, ¿cómo hacen esas personas para conectarse con vos y hacer los cursos online? Se conectan con la mía web eh, o Instagram y redes sociales. Y, y desde ahí tengo un calendario, bueno, este año ya, hoy en este momento está en un retiro online, el grupo me está esperando después de, de ustedes, eh, pero este año ya online ya cerré, cer voy a cerrar con presenciales, y ya el próximo año voy a tener calendarios online, ya fecha preestablecida para poder juntar un grupo y poder eh, viajar en este mágico viaje juntos. Ok, so um, she says that uh, you can contact her via Instagram or via her website or via social media. And uh, this year she, uh, she has all her online uh, courses booked and she's finishing the year with uh, pers uh, in-person uh, courses. Next year, she's going to have uh, more online uh, courses. Right now, she's guiding uh, an online course, uh, and she's she's going she's finishing with us and connecting with the uh, with the uh, the online course that uh, she's guiding right now. Uh, but well, yes, uh, online and sh and next year uh, she she will have an open calendar for online courses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And where people who are interested, where can they get the schedule of her courses for the next year? Or maybe there would be cancellations this year. Someone will cancel, so then they can join instead. Okay. Uh, yeah, so where, entonces, can, where can people get all this information? Okay, so, entonces, eh, ¿dónde se puede conseguir dos cosas? O sea, la primera, si alguien cancela para algún curso online que vos vas a hacer este año, para, para poderse anotar, eh, o sea, digo, eso primero. Y segundo, ¿dónde están los calendarios de tus cursos? ¿Dónde se puede saber cuándo son tus cursos? Por eso, ya ahora, en, uh, cuando llega octubre, creo el calendario para el año que viene. Porque okay. en este momento planetario que es muy eh, raro, eh, <ríe> eh, creo ahora de octubre comienzo a crear el próximo calendario. Eh, ¿Y dónde para... lo vas a poner? ¿Lo vas a poner en el sitio en la web? web, o en, en, la el, web en, en la web. web. Ok, yes, in her website, she's creating the next year calendar eh, in uh, October. So... Y voy, voy, a, voy a hacer también la traducción en inglés. And she is going to translate everything to English. Yeah, that's really important. That's really important. Okay, very good. So I think we pretty much covered whatever we wanted to cover today. If maybe we can arrange another one if we have more topics to discuss. Uh, so guys, you have your last chance to ask your questions. Otherwise, we are going to wrap it up for tonight. For today. So guys, do you have- Can any... I ask how old Maritza is? Ah, eh, <ríe> no sé, querida. Bueno, eh, a ver, Marcia, queridísima, pregunta acá, Ari, ¿cuántos años tenés? Voy por los 50. She's 50 years old. Uh -huh. <ríe> A child. Nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, so I think we're going to wrap it up. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can I ask something? Yes, yes, yes. How Absolutely. long uh, the process, like how long is it taking it taken her to get just to be on liquids and uh, all the detoxification processes? How long does it take to, how long okay. is it taking her? That's, that's, that's it did take to her, right? Yeah, her, and I'm trying to, in general, I mean, how long okay. does it take? to move on to the next level and to detox and to move on to the... 
Ok. Bueno, entonces lo que pregunta Revital es, primero, ¿cuánto te tomó a vos para llegar al nivel donde estás? ¿Cuánto tiempo te tomó? Este, y por otro lado, eh, si hay algún tiempo estándar, digamos. No, no hay ningún tiempo estándar. El clic el eh, eh, es cuando comprendemos eh, que tenemos ante todos amarnos. Cuando okay, comenzamos so, a amarnos... Yeah, so there is no standard time to get to this level. Uh, uh, the, the, the main moment is when we start loving ourselves. <laughs> And in terms of detoxing, how long does this process take until you manage okay. to... Entonces pregunta cuánto tiempo o cuánto detox tenés que hacer para pasar al next level, para pasar al próximo. Detox uh, físico. Bueno, sí. detox. Y que no hay, cada organismo en organismo, um, eh, yeah. eh, el compromiso que tiene con ti mismo para ser feliz. Ok, so, uh, organic. Oh, the body detox it is uh it's not uh there is no uh standard measure so it's each one is different and regarding uh, uh the other planes spiritual and, me and mental uh it's uh it's your determination to be happy so when you find that determination to be happy okay thank you gracias <laughs> much yeah Okay, guys, so thank you so much, Marcia, for this enlightening talk. Thank you so much, Ellie, for the wonderful translation. Thank you, everyone who came and participated in the live event. I think we've got more wisdom for ourselves, more understanding of the processes. And uh, yeah, it was really, really enlightening and, you know, very heartwarming webinar. Ok, so, uh, lo que dice Arik es que, bueno, ha sido, hemos recibido mucha sabiduría de vos, Marcia, querida, y además de eso, ha sido muy bueno para nuestro corazón, y, este, y estamos todos muy agradecidos eh, porque has compartido hoy tu sabiduría con nosotros. Gracias, gracias yeah. por invitar. Yeah, and for Marcia, lots of best wishes and uh, blessings on her future journey. Ok, entonces los mejores deseos y bendiciones en tu, eh, en tu, futura, eh, tu futuro camino. Gracias. Yeah, yeah, and the same for everyone. Ok, thank you guys. We're going thank to wrap you. it up. Bye bye. Bye. bye.